Hello and welcome to the World Championships in Death Diving at Frognabade in Oslo, Norway. My name is Nina Cave. And my name is uh, Grindemiri. And uh, we're going to follow you through this uh, competition for the next uh, two hours. It's going to be exciting. And if you want to know a little bit of history about death diving, Grinde, can you give us some background? Yeah, the, it started in the 1960s as uh, an amateur competition. Um, the guys were wanted to impress the girls and uh, was jumping from the ten. And they are uh, running out, spreading uh, out in an X formation. And the point is to close the X formation um, as late as possible before you hit the water uh, as a cannonball. But um, with your face and your belly down first. So it's, um, it's a competition for hard guys. That's insane and awesome. I can't and, wait. And that's why it's called death diving. <laughs> Okay, well, well, let's uh, let's hear a little bit about some of these crazy guys who'll be jumping from the ten. Matthias, over to you. All right, all right. Sorry, now I'm live on TV here with uh, Flo, the guy who has traveled the furthest. You won the Fat Stone video competition with uh, incredible amount of likes. Is this actually a sport you guys do in Menorca as well? Yeah, it's uh, it's a sport and it's a tradition. Uh, kids uh, with five years old start dotsing and it's crazy. Everybody is dotsing in the island. So come there and that's with us. It's going to be great. Okay, so uh, how long have you been doing this? And have you been competing before? Uh, no, it's the first time I compete with dog uh, competitions. I think I started dotsing with five years old. So maybe it's 21 years now. <laughs> okay, we know that in Norway they started in the 50s or in the 60s here in the Frognibade. When did they start in Menorca doing this? Uh, well, it started uh, maybe uh, in the same years, uh, in the 1960s, like this. Uh, the old people is talked about uh, a guy called Marcelo, who starts to, uh, to dot, and people like the style and, and the moves, and uh, start to, to dot and it's incredible that evolved equal without uh, knowing each other with, with Menorca and Norway and so it's super great that we can make the same thing and go worldwide. Yeah, it's really cool that you're here mister, thank you very much, you have to go get ready for the dotsing now and here we have the world champion from last year, yeah! Hello, hello! So uh, what's the plan for uh, to bring home the championship this year Mr. T uh, Trudstorp? I got a well plan. It's the day we all been waiting for and ready to make a hell of a show. Yeah, because for you guys who are dutching, this is actually uh, sort of like Christmas, right? Yeah, it's the highlight and everybody loves the competition. So how many uh, dives have you been doing this season? Uh, around 1,000 maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, let's check out uh, 1,001 now. Thank you very much, Mr. Trills. And now we have the youngest contender here, Mr. Ravn, welcome. Hello. And you did a solid job yesterday, and you actually won the qualifications, beating all the old guys. Congratulations. How did you feel? Thank you very much. I feel very great, and uh, I'm very looking forward to this competition today. Yeah. How is it to be so much younger than the other guys? It's uh, very fun. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, okay. If you do as well as you did yesterday, you're having a good chance? I think so, yeah. All right, all right. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. Good luck, Ram. Okay. Tarim bak, Klaus Alto bara. Ay ay ay. These are the pictures from yesterday. This is what happened. These are the qualifiers that happened here at Strongabada yesterday. We had around uh, 100 uh, trying to qualify for this uh, final, and only 15 was uh, making it to the quarterfinal today. Look at that. Oi. And you can see uh, in the um, qualifying, a lot of the guys have uh, stepped up the game and. Um, the technique and the um, level of the jumping and the diving is uh, much higher than many years. It's incredible sport to watch. It's just crazy to see these guys throwing themselves out there. And there's certain things that they need to do to be able to be judged correctly, right? Yeah, it's, um, the whole point is uh, to start uh, from the back of the 10, get as much speed as you can. 
and uh, jump as far as you can out uh, to the pool. And uh, the thing is, uh, in the classic duds, you need to spread your uh, legs and arms in an X formation, or you can lay still with your hands uh, along your body. And then you have to lay still there and close the gap as um, late as possible before you hit the water. The thing is, uh, you need to be kind of the boss in the air. That's uh, one thing. You have to uh, jump far. You have to be the boss in the air. You have to have style. And you have to have technique. Okay. Well, that sounds like uh, plenty to be judged on. Here we have the starting list of the quarterfinal. That's what's on the screen now. We've got Hadamang will be the first one out, throwing himself into the air for this uh, Dutzing World Championships here at Flongebaka. Then we have also Ole Olsen and Johannes Holte. And all these three guys are from uh, the Brothers Carlsen uh, circuit. Okay, so that's their team. Yeah, okay. the Bröderna Carlsen is uh, their like circuit where they come from, where they started jumping. Okay. Then we have uh, Fredrik Torsvik from uh, Lønnskog. We have uh, Lasse Larsen from uh, Level Up. Sivert Lund from the Brothers Carlsen. Uh, Christian Klok from uh, Frognebade, where we are at now. We have uh, Arne Haugland, um, uh, Beerfjord, if you're going to translate it directly to uh, English, uh, Christian Fredrik Vestre from uh, Frognebade, we have uh, Vetle Birkland from uh, Bergen, Death uh, Diving Crest, you uh, have uh, Ole Kvinge from uh, Level Up, Morten Falteng from uh, Frognebade, Bendik Alm, Lønskog uh, Death Diving uh, Circuit, we have uh, Vetle Killy from uh, the Brothers Carlsen. Uh, Frederick Steive from Lutvan Duss, also a um, lifeguard here at Frånebade. Uh, Frederick Dunn Børresen is from uh, Burnley Death Circuit. Uh, Aslak uh, Troberg Juve from uh, Frånebade. Ravn, he's from uh, Shades of Norway, Team Shades of Norway. That's, um, as a sponsor, uh, Johan Florit Kuster is from uh, Kallan Brut. And then you have uh, Kabel Shevsta from uh, my own, he says. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's in his own team. In his, his own, own team. <laughs> his own team. And then you have um, Anders Rocks Friberg from uh, Club Rocks. Simon Simba Oland from uh, Lønnsko. Erlend Bommo from uh, uh, Bærum uh, Diving Club, Marcus Lee from uh, Fetsund, Sindre Årøy Holte fra Lønnskog Dødsegret, uh, P. Kristen Andenes from uh, Kalveja Deathers, Death Divers, uh, Philip uh, Julius Devor from uh, Team Frigar, Peter Andresen from uh, Team Frigar, Håkon Høyen from uh, Lutvan Death Diving, and uh, Fredrik Amundsen from uh, Team Frigar. Uh, and the last guy, last year's world champion, Trudestor from uh, Carson's uh, Death Circuit. He's uh, last year's champion, and uh, he told me before we went live uh, on TV that uh, if he went to the final, he had some uh, pretty cool tricks to show us. So um, hopefully he will make it to top 10 and uh, we will see some incredible jumps. Fantastic. So that's the 30... I'm not sure what to yeah, call them, Dutsere. Yeah. Or should call them Death Divers? In Norway, we call it Dutsere. In English, we call it uh, Death Divers. And uh, of course, you have um, last year's uh, champion, Trude Storp. He's uh, maybe one of the guys you need to see up for today. And you also have uh, Philip Julius Devon. He's uh, been a champion for many, many years. He lost the title to Truls uh, last year. But uh, he's, uh, he's a diver from early age and uh, one of Europe's best. So if he make the freestyle death, he can make some... Um, He's probably making the podium and maybe he can beat Trolls in the top. That's fantastic. And these guys, they're going to be diving classic now, right? Yeah, in the first round you have uh, 30 in the quarterfinal. You have 30 people going to death dive. 
and um, they're going to do the classic duds. That's the duds where you um, run out of the tent and you're uh, going um, in a star formation when you're in the air. And then you're going to hold that still and close it as late as possible before you hit the water. You could also uh, jump uh, and have your uh, arms along the side as a plank, but uh, that's much harder. It's um, more easy to get out of the control, but uh, that's the classic dust. The classic dust is just as simple, and you're just holding the air, just doing almost nothing. Okay, and like you said, you need to own the air. It's air time here. That's also one of the, the key things to yeah. do. So the, the key thing is, uh, the key thing is uh, to, um, to get a lot of speed out from the tent, so you can jump, uh, jump far. And then, um, and own the air, have some style, uh, show them that you ha show the judges that they have control. And then it's important to also get a lot of splash. In the um, normal diving, you have um, to have a little splash as possible. Yeah. But in this competition, that's just a part of the game. You need to have as much splash as possible. So we have our first contestants up in the tower. Look at them climb and climb and climb. That's Whoa. high. That is 10 meters. The guys can uh, reach up to uh, 50, 60 kilometers an hour uh, when they hit the water. So um, when they land in this position where they have their um, head and face down, it can uh, hurt pretty bad. A lot of them um, hurt their legs quite a bit. So they are all, all um, red and sore when they got out of the water. Herman Sivertsen. He's, uh, he's going to be the first diver. He qualified from yesterday. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what he can do. Okay, and he says yeah, he's in it to win it. He says so. So... That's, he's ambitious. Uh, yeah, he's ambitious. And, um, you know, last year, uh, Turs came from the qualification and jumped straight to the top. So it's possible. It's in the thing, it's possible. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Okay. Wow, it is high. When you it's, see the camera angle from the yeah. top. He's cheering with the crowd, trying to get the public with them. I can understand that that helps. If you've got people cheering for you, shouting, then that obviously gets the adrenaline running, makes you want to jump even yeah. harder, higher, faster. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm nervous for that guy up there. Yeah, you, you, can, you can feel attention. And it's, um, the thing about that thing is quite cool. Have you jumped that high before? I've jumped from the 10 many times. Woo! We'll see what the uh, handman can do. Here we go. <gasps> yeah, he's, uh, he's jumping quite far. Uh, quite in the middle of the pool. Yes, uh, he didn't have that really out in the star formation. You can see he uh, have his hands on the back. Uh, laying quite still, but uh, closing a little bit early. So, I don't see the judges giving high numbers, but um, quite an easy, um, easy death timing there. Um, Good start. Good start. I guess the score is seven, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and six and a half. So, total of 35 and a half. Uh, not the highest numbers, but um, for that jump, it's uh, well played. It's um, high scores for that jump. jump. Okay, next up, Ola Olsen. From uh, the brothers Carlson. Um, uh, let us see what uh, they can do. They have a lot of uh, good, um, good jumpers. He's uh, 18 of age. And he's just here for fun. In Norway, as we call it, lattice. He's just here for fun. Look at him revving himself up. Okay. And this is the first time, our first year he's dusting. Oh! He's gonna get good pay for that. He's gonna get good pay for that. He's, uh, he's laying sideways in the air.
playing still, getting uh, good air. You can see a style in there. It's almost like a running. Wait, and he like kind of opened up. Right yeah, up. you can see he's opening the air, laying sideways and closing, closing straight before the water, you know? It's, uh, so that was a good time. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you see yeah, He gets eight, eight, eight and a half, eight and eight, so four and a half total. But it's, then in uh, first place, yeah. It's good, good points for that type of jump. Good time. The most points you can get here is 10, right? It's, yep. it's 10. Okay. So yep. then you have uh, Johannes Holte. He's, uh, he got the 37 and a half in the qualification, so we'll see. He's also here for just the fun. I wouldn't say that was the best jump. Um, his other teammate, Ole, was uh, probably better. But um, it's an okay de death dive. He's uh, almost like uh, running into the water. So I, I, was, I would say that it's um, not uh, a real classic death. I, I, I wouldn't say it was uh, really that good. He was almost landing as a shrimp instead of like a death. He gets seven and a half, seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, and six and a half. So it's um, it's not fix? it's not that good of a jump. No, but you know what? He's got really cool pants on. I mean, those silver pants were cool. Yeah. Next up. And then we have Frederick Kurschvik from uh, Learn School. You can see he has the classic um, classic outfit for the death divers, and that's the jeans. He has uh, the jeans that is uh, like... Uh, ripped, ripped up the side? Ripped, ripped up the side yeah. or uh, scissored, you know? And he's even got the little bee swimming cap. Yeah. Oi! Oi! That's, that's a really good jump. Beautiful! That's a really good jump. A really good death time. He's uh, sideways in the water. He's owning the air. You can see here a lot of speed going far. He's holding this uh, formation for a long time. He's almost not closing. Yeah. You, you can see he's almost not closing at the end. So he's probably made it judges are picking on that. But um, at the same time, it's good style. It's, uh, he it's good. seems happy with that. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's good style. We can see the judges. Yeah. Eight, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half. So. Uh, it's an okay jump. I think um, if I had closed the, um, the, uh, the death dive a little bit earlier, so total closing, then it would probably be better. Lasse Larsen is up next. Yeah, he was uh, the top five in uh, Lillesan uh, Grand Prix. So um, it's going to be cool to see what he can do, if he can um, go higher in top five. Oi! He's uh, getting far in the water. He's uh, jumping, um, jumping a long jump, but uh, he, he doesn't have to control in the air. It seems, seems as like he's losing control. You can see. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he can't hold uh, hold the position all the way. Mm. And uh, he's not closing. Um, He's closing early, so I think the judge. Yeah, I can see the judges. Mm. Six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, seven, se six and a half. So the judges were happy with that. You can see he didn't own the air. He didn't have the full control, and then uh, the judges are picking on that. So control is also important. Yeah, in class, in classic Dutch, everything has to say that you have to lay still. Sivert Lund, he's up next. Sivert Lund, How he's is he? uh, 16 of eight. He's what? coming from Komsten near Fredrikstad. 16 years old. So um, it's going to be interesting to see. See? Yeah, you can see that. That's a totally different uh, death dive. He's uh, having control in the air, opening late, holding it, and then closing it. You can see it on the in the. Um, Oi, he had a little bit yeah, of attitude in the front there. Yeah, yeah check he, that he's, attitude. He's pointing What's to that? the judges. He's pointing to the judges and closing late. Style. And a good splash. You can see. You can see here he has good control in the air, holding still, and then closing. He's probably in it. Yeah. Seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, seven. Yeah. Thirty-six and a half uh, in total. So it's um, quite good. Not bad. Christian Kluk. 
Christian Klok, he's um, from, he's from a, the border. Yeah, he's from here. Yeah, he's a local. We can see what uh, he can do. Whoa. That's uh, probably going to be uh, well played from the judges. He uh, seems to have good control. He jumped quite far. Yeah. Is that important? Yeah, it's important. It's important to have uh, a long jump, uh, a big splash, good control in there. You can see out in X formation quite early. He's holding it. Seems to have good control. Closing maybe a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can see that, seven. Seven in uh, the whole thing, 35 in, uh, 35 in total. So he's closing a little bit early. And that's probably why he gets picked on from the judges. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, on a headlong. He had uh, his best result. is the second place in the World Championships. And uh, we'll see what he can do. You can see that. You can see that. That's, a, that's why he got a second place in the world championships. You can see the attitude in there. He's owning the air. A long jump, big splash. You can see here. He's holding. Wow. Pointing at the judges. Holding it still. <laughs> closing late. And a big splash. <laughs> that's fantastic to watch. That looked painful though. That's surely that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's, it's painful. Oh, there you we go. We've got a nine. nine. Eight and eight. Seven and a half and eight. First place so far. Yeah, first place so far. Just and you can see why. See, you, can, you can see why you got a second place. He's uh, jumping far and he's almost splashing over the whole judges. So it's... Um, actually, if you do that, that's not... Uh, they're not uh, picking points on that. Okay, impressive. Christian Fredrik Vestre is up next. He's 23 years old. So uh, let's see what he can do. It's a really good technique there. Not the first jump, but um, you can see he's grabbing his foot, having total control in the air. You can see here, grabbing, out in star formation and closing late. Almost too late. So I'm, I'm um, surprised if the judges are... Um, Gonna give him high points because it's closing almost too late. Okay. But uh, in the meantime, he has some good control in the air and showing that he's the boss. You can see seven and a half, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half. So it's an okay result. Um, probably closing better and then he will probably go higher. Okay. Next up, Vetle Birkeland from Bergen. He's just here to impress the ladies. He said. Good. I'm watching. Open. I'm watching, boy. Well, that's good. Let's see what he can do. I love that this sport started just to impress us ladies. Oh. And that was impressive. Yeah, it's, uh, he has some good control in the air. He's laying still. Uh, so that's good. But um, he's not closing that good. So he's probably not going to get the highest points. But you can see here, he has some good control. Laying flat, laying <laughs> still. It's not in star formation, but it's classic dots. So then you can just, as long as you're still in the air, that's good. But it's probably not going to get high points because of the end. Oh! You get eight and a half, actually. Ah, there is one lady judge, you see. So he yeah. was impressed in the lady. They're, they're probably happy with the, the way he jumped, the way he had control. So they wouldn't uh, pick on the, his uh, landing. So you can see. King, eh? Let's see if he's got anything better. Look at me. Let's see this. Oi. The leg thing is quite popular. Is it yeah. quite difficult to do that and regain control? Yeah, it's quite difficult because uh, you're starting a rotation where you're sideways and uh, you're, you're scissoring your legs. Mm. Uh, so, but it's uh, opening that star formation late. Have good control, good landing, good splash. You should get uh, quite good points for this. He's rocking the it's top knot. It's called like, like a runner. You can see seven and a half and eight and a half, eight, eight, eight. So um, it's a good one. This is one of the old guys, Morten Falte. 
He's got a great bathing suit. Yeah, he, he, yeah it's an old school bathing suit. He's one of the oldest guys here. He he's just crazy. He's 57 years old. These guys, these are just crazy. With his hat on. Woo! That's it's, so uh, hard. It's hurting quite a bit, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and he's still got his hat on. It's a good that dive. It's uh, okay control in the air and okay landing. I wouldn't say the highest points, but um, it's probably getting some uh, edge points. <laughs> yeah, says he has been competing probably from 2013. He's. He got the Bruno prize, that is the prize after the um, legend Bruno. And he has also got a fourth place in the World Championships. Okay. So, so he's not a bad uh, defender. Next up, Bendik Holm. It's Bendik Holm. He's... Uh, From Learn School. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Oh yeah, same thing, pointing, yeah. showing off. You can see he's owning the air. He's the boss of the area style in the air. Uh, closing, he's opening the formation a little bit late. So I'm not sure what the judges say about that, but um, mm. you can see it's a good jump. It's quite a good jump. You can see the style he has in it. It's opening late and closing late. Looks like he's got all the time in the world when you see it on slow motion. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's also really a hard part. You can see eight, nice. eight, wow. eight, and, a half, eight and a half and eight. Into first place. Yeah. And that's probably because it's opening late and closing late. Okay. That's because key. that's hard. It's hard to open and then go in again. Vetlikili. Vetlikili. Look at him. He's revving up the crowds. There we go. Wow. You can see he got some air. He's getting far out in the pool. He's good control. He's 17 years old. Yes. And he's just floating. You can see uh, he has his hand on his back. Legs still good control and closing legs. Looks it's probably going to be good. That whole fearless look that just... Uh, Makes it look relaxing. Can't possibly be relaxing. You can see here, first place, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, forty-one and a half. <laughs> it's, uh, look at that. He has such good control in the um, in the air that um, there's no wonder why he get this point. Nice. Fredrik Stager from from Dutch. He's also a lifeguard here. If he managed to pull off a good one, he will go to the final. Run name. Oh. There, Stuy Frederick Stuyve is uh, showing uh, a good one there. He's uh, running a little bit slow on my end there, opening late and then closing late. He, you can see, good control in the air. He gets uh, a long jump and uh, he got a good splash. I'm not far from the judges, so he's probably going to get a good pay from that. So kind of like a running man and a plank all yeah. in one. Yeah. He's, uh, you can see that personally he'll get eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half. That's a good one. It's, um, I know what Freddy can do. He's been competing for many years. He injured himself last year. He um, broke a tooth. Frederick? Yeah, he Ouch. got his, he got his knee uh, when he was closing uh, the dust. In, um, in the face, so... Um, so this is dangerous, there's yeah. no doubt He's about it, you can get hurt. Oh, he closed quite late there. Yeah, he closed uh, late, maybe too late, we'll see what the judges say, but... Um, he has uh, good control. He, um, his laying still in the water has good control. Nice and... Yeah. Holding and then closing really late. He's probably going to get good pain from that. It's, uh, it's a good one. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. Looks like he's going to fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. And that's the whole thing. Uh, it's a really good pay. It's eight, 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 seven and a half and eight. So it's not bad from uh, that type of job. Uh, the whole thing about class, uh, classic Dutch is to remain calm in the air. So remain Be, calm. Remain calm and lay still. He was in the semi-final last year. 
Oh, the sideways thing. Yeah. He's, um, he's uh, having a good jump there. Jumping out sideways, getting a good air. You see? Good speed, good air, good control. And uh, let's see of the landing. Opening late, closing late. Good splash. He's going, probably going to get a uh, good pay for that uh, that time. 18 years old. Yeah. Started doing this in 2015. You can see it. First place for him too. Look at him. He's impressive. So it's a lot of guys now on 41 and a half. It's, um, it's such much higher levels for each year. This is the young, youngest guy. The winner of the qualification. Oh my God. He's, he's a diver. He's 14 of age. He won the qualification yesterday. 14 years old. Boys, check out that confidence. Yeah. He's, uh, he's good in air. He's uh, used to have control. You can see him. Um, Doing a backflip on the top of the 10 meter before he even jumps. Yeah. He's, uh, have, you can see here. Good speed. Good control. Laying still. Opening late, closing late. Beautiful. He, he usually do this kind of landing called the shrimp. Yeah. Instead of a normal dive where you have your elbows and knees together. Oh. Ready to see? Eight and a half, eight and a half, nine, eight and a half, and nine. The highest score today. He's uh, no wonder. He's um, having good control, doing uh, quite good, uh, good classic deaths there. Okay, next up is Juan. Juan. He's from uh, Spain, I think. His first competition, he says. He's been diving on since he was five years old, he said. Look at that death dive. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. He's owning there, pointing at the audience. You can see here, good speed. Opening, pointing at the audience. Opening after that, late, holding the grab. Wow, he And then so closing. Yeah. It's almost, you can see here, he's grabbing, opening in star formation and closing late. That's a good close. He did so much in the air. Okay. Uh, not bad. For the 14-year-old in the first place. It's a, it's an okay uh, score. I thought it would get higher, but um, you know, it's just a call for um, the final, so maybe he'll do something better in the semi-final and get yeah, more paid. Absolutely. Maybe saving some creds. Cabello. Chefsta. He's uh, 32 of age. He has a uh, third place in the World Championships and second place in Super and Stoop 2007 this year. He's also got the crowds behind him. You can see that. He's not jumping far. He's not having the highest speed. <laughs> but he has good control. A big star. X formation. And closing late. So, um, Attitude, say, style. Yeah. Nice. He looks proud. He, he's proud. You proud see? jumpers. Look it's at that. Mm. Holding his like. The chest first, you know, like a, like a man. Yeah, that face, fantastic. So uh, that's uh, I would say that is a good classic Dutch there. Uh, it's probably gonna get uh, good pay from the judges. Spreading his legs, <laughs> having total control in there. Let's see the scores. Yeah, yeah 41 and a half. It's a lot of people on 41 and a half. You can see the, the level of the death timing the last years has increased a lot. And uh, you can see when such many people are laying on 41 and a half, then the competition is high, you know? Yeah, yeah, see that. On this looks three He's uh, the winner of the um, uh, West Side Championships or... Um, the West of Norway? Yeah, the West of Norway. Oh, yeah. I would say that's a quite good one. He's uh, having control. He's closing late, so um, he's probably um, going to be around 40 points, I think. Representing from the west of Norway. Let's see what the judges think about that. It's a good splash, too. You can see opening there, holding it, holding it, holding it, and then closing it. And it's a good close. Yeah, you can see it. Around 40 points, 39 points in total, 13th place. And yeah, 
13 place on 39 yeah. points. Yeah. Then I can see high standard. That, yeah, it's a high standard. The level is high. Simon Simba Alon. Oh, He's 21 of the 21 of age. Winner of uh, Bruno Prize uh, 2007 and 2016. Wow. It's a good one. He jumped See. far, he had loads of style, he opened it up. He, 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 he does uh, everything you need to do in a classic dance. He's uh, going sideways, opening up in star formation, holding it. Looks like he's and in it, control. He's having control, maybe closing a little bit late, maybe a little bit too late, but um, I've seen the judges today don't... Um, uh, yeah, okay. Second oh. place, good score. Nine and a half, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 33 points. You can see the judges are not judging the closing no. as much as uh, uh, last year. Uh, yes, he's a lifeguard in uh, Nadrholm in Baden. I know him quite a bit when I've been swimming there. Um, um, I'm curious of what he can, uh, what he can do. Have you seen him jump before? Yeah. Oi, oi. You can see um, <laughs> he's showing off. He, he wants to he want to make a show for the audience. You know, he's uh, running a little bit easy in the in the air, uh, pointing a little bit like um, like this uh, Dimitri Payet in the air. You can see he's doing with his hand there. Super cool. Just, just laying still and then closing it. Not maybe the highest level of a classic Dutch, but um, you're probably getting some uh, okay points there. There you can see. Eight, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, 38 and a half points, 15 place. It's a quite good score. Quite good score. Not the best one, but uh, hopefully he's um, on to the semi final. Yep, and next up is Marcus Lee. He's, uh, he's been here for many years. You can see that one. He's doing the captain. He's doing this uh, captain salute. He's holding it still in the air. Good technique. He's owning there. You can see they're going sideways, opening up, doing a salute. Holding it. And then closing late. Good splash. Nice. It's, uh, that's a good one. So that's called the captain when you do a yeah. salute? Yeah. To the judges, let's see if they like and that. And you can see he's holding still, he's laying horizontal in the air. You can see, okay. Eight, eight all around. It's only 12th place, but it's still a good score. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's it's a high standard. It's a high standard. This is Sindra Reholte. He's, uh, he's not afraid of anything. Um, the, I was uh, with him this summer. Uh, he was jumping from uh, like 15 meters height, doing a backflip. So uh, he, I know he's good. He's doing a running man there. Um, good jump. He's uh, going far. Um, he, uh, you can see, has good control. Doing a little bit of running. The and twisting, then, yeah. The yeah, twist, the twisting. Twist. And then opening late and closing late. He's probably gonna get good pay for that. Okay. I think yeah, I think that was personally a good one, uh, but we'll see what yeah, the judges say. Yeah. Yep, thank second you. place, 43. The second man on 43, so we have 43 and a half and 43. So um, good jump. That's I mean, a good one. I think it must be really difficult to twist like that and then regain control. And this is uh, Per Christian Alvarez from uh, Colbaya Death uh, Divers. He's uh, one of the oldest guys here. He was um, with Fatstone last year, so I'm curious of uh, what he can do this year. He's got a good outfit on. It's yeah. not like the original classic dancing jeans. Oi. Wow. See, I think that was a good one. He's uh, holding control in the air. He's trying to get a backwards rotation, but then getting back, and that's hard. That's very hard. That's hard. That is Seeing impressive. There, going yeah. out. Back, and then coming back again onto his stomach yeah. just before so, that. Um, he's probably going to um, get an okay good score. Maybe, 
But it depends on if the judges see that as a technique or as a fault. Oh, that looks like technique. You can it's, see he's in control. Yeah. You see a uh, style. Personally, that's my opinion. 11 plays, 8 and a half. So, it's not a good, uh, not a bad jump. He's, um, but it's hard. This is... This is the champion from uh, for many many years. He lost the title last year. He's back here again to take it back. I'm curious to see if what he can do. He's um, Philip Julius Devoy. Yes, he's. Okay. Uh, he had his first world title in 2013, and um, he's doing a good classic dance there. Getting to good air, getting far out in the pool, having control and opening late and closing late again, as many others. Looks, looks super relaxed. Yeah, you can see, yeah, super chill. You can see there, opening late and then closing. Good close. But he didn't do any pointing or any... No, not showing not off. Not style, no, no. But, Just a clean classic. Clean classic, just as it should be. We'll see what the judges... 43 at him too, yeah. That's the third man, 43 points. He's uh, doing a good classic dust there. Good control. This is one of also the old guys. <laughs> Been here for uh, many, many years. He had the uh, second and third uh, best classic and uh, he had like the year's uh, most crazy guys. Oi. So let's see what he can do. Oi! It was like a double tap. What is that? It's like a double one. It's um, I'm curious to see that in slow motion. It's um, it's getting sideways there. Uh, he's opening late, but uh, I'm not sure what he's doing um, in the middle of the jump. Okay. Maybe not the cleanest one, but um, he's like he's like opening it and then. Closing and then an opening again. Okay, well, the judges. Pit, yeah, fifth place. Eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, and 41 and a half points. Next up, Håkon Heijen. Also from uh, Lutvang Dutz. He's uh, a really good death diver. He's uh, been doing a lot of good jumps uh, for the last year. He has a uh, third place from last year. Oh, that's a good one. Good air, good control, good splash. Probably gonna be good paid. Sounded painful. It should be. It should be, yeah. Having his hands behind his head and closing. It's a good one. You can see he has control and then opening. And you can also see he's looking at the judges in the middle of the jump. Yeah, he's not looking at the landing. No. Which is, that shows confidence. You can see, look at that. This is the best one of the day. 45 points, only nine. First place. That's a really, really good one. It's, um... Well done, so he's one to watch. Keep your eye on Håkon. Fredrik Amundsen. Also one of the Next oldest guys here. 37 years old. Yeah. He's been world champion. He has second place and has also a fifth place. So I know he can jump. I know he can death dive really good. So let's see what he can do in the classic one. Okay. What? He's closing, uh, opening and closing really late. Okay. It's, um, and that's important. Or not? Uh, it's, it's hard. It's, yeah. And it can be really hard when he lands. Yeah. But uh, so running, he, has open good, and yeah. he has good control, but he, don't, he, don't, he doesn't manage to, to open it that much. Mm. But oh, it gives yeah, yeah. a really good score. And that's probably because of his control and because he's opening and closing that way. Mm. Got to, that's hard and it's risky. Yeah. You know? Okay, who's up next? It's the man. Then you have True Store. He's 18 of age. First place last year. 
He made an incredible jump last year. Yes, he he back here. He won the box extreme sport total this year. Let's see what he can do. That's it too. And you can see it. You can see why he's a world champion from last year. He has good control in the air. Opening late, closing late. It's uh, beautiful see. to watch. Just, look at look at this control. He's laying so still. He's just looking at the judges and closing. It's just it's just incredible. Look it's at like that. staring them down, stare down before he lands. And he's almost landing without having his hands in front. You can see 45 <laughs> the world champion from last year 45 points he has such good control having the look at the judges when he's jumping i'm just i'm just uh, excited for what's going to happen uh, later this evening because he told me he has some incredible new jumps ahead so yeah i heard him saying earlier to matthias that he jumped probably about a thousand times already this year yeah. just in preparation he's, uh, and now let's uh, go over to Matthias and hear what some of the folks have to say. Thank you guys. Now I'm here with uh, Morten, one of the original gangsters here in the death circuit. Uh, when did you do your first uh, death dive? In 1972. Wow, so you've been uh, dutching more than these guys have been uh, living. Yeah. So uh, what do you think of the development of the sports? Has a lot happened? I'm very happy that it's uh, so big. It's more people watching now than in the 70s. Yeah, what a great uh, people up here. Yeah, so how did it go with your uh, dive today? Uh, if, if this uh, had been uh, in uh, 1970, then it's been the Olympic game right now. <laughs> okay, this is like the Olympics used to be back in the days. Yeah. Thanks, Morten, good luck. And uh, Julius, you're the guy who actually has uh, three world champion titles. What's your plan to get uh, the title again? I, I assume that's your goal. That's a secret. I can't tell you now. You can't go. You can't reveal your secrets. Not now. You will uh, see. But you got a good score, didn't you? How did you feel about your first performance? Yeah, I'm happy with the first uh, jump. It was a good jump. I'm fifth or something. So I'm looking forward to the the next jump. So are you going to start putting pressure on your opponents now? I hope so. Well, cool. Good luck to you, mister. Thank you. All right. See you later. Good luck to everybody. Okay, here we go. The results of the quarterfinal. There you have it. Truls Torp is in the first place, ranked with 45 points. But also with 45 points is Håkon Høyen. Yep, we're going all the way down to, yep, we've got Frederick, Stevie, Cabello, and uh, Bendik Ulm. That's the results for the quarterfinal. Here come the rest of the guys. This means that these guys are going through. Okay, well, here it is. It's the results quarterfinal. These are the other 10 guys. So in total, they're 20 going through to the semifinal, which is super exciting, as you can see. Points so far, the highest points, I think it was a 45, and now we're going into 41s. And of course, the 240s at the bottom there, Ula and Marcus Lee. That's what it takes to get into the semifinal. Exciting stuff here on Fatstone TV. There we go. We've got the rest of the results coming up there. Frederick with 39,5. Okay, and Lasse Larsen there with 33. Now over to you, Matthias. I think you're in the in the crowd somewhere with some of the fans. That's right, Nina. I'm uh, here with some of the audience. Uh, who are you, Mister? And uh, what brought you to the Death Championships? 
you want to have it in English? Yes, please. Well, yeah, my name is Ju. I'm here with Clara. She's my daughter. And uh, yeah, the thing is that she loves watching uh, Dutzing at YouTube. Wow, really? So that's the reason why we're here. That's really cool, Clara. Yeah. How did she end up getting a passion for Dutzing this young? Uh, just by YouTube. And she likes to, to jump herself into water, and that's it. All right, are we, uh, will we maybe see a girl uh, participate in the future? Most likely. <laughs> wow, this is great news. Yeah, so the audience are really into it. Back to you, Nina. Okay, next up is the starting list for the semi-final. That is the guys who are jumping. And we've got Marcus Lee will be jumping up first, then Ole Kvinge. Third jumping is Ole Olsen. Then we have Arne Haugland. Per Christian Andenes, Betle Birklund, Juan Florit, Petter Andresen, Aslak, Trober, Juve, and Betle Kili. That's the first 10 up. And then the next 10 for the semi final Bendik Olm, Kabela Schafstad, Fredrik Stevi, Sindre. And then we have Fredrik Amundsen and Philip Julius Devor. Simon Simba, Rang, Håkon Høie og Truls Torp, the last year's world champion. That's what we have to look forward to next year at the semi-finals on Fatstone TV. Remember, we are live at Frognebade in Oslo, Norway. If you want to tune in, you can tune in via Facebook at Fatstone TV. And that's where you get all the action. And the great news is that you see it live as it's happening, as well as in slow motion. And Grinda is giving us a great overview of what is good, what is bad, what works, what doesn't. And this is great fun. I mean, and I love the dives that actually the guys that are pulling faces or smiling or pointing to the crowd. It's freaking awesome. But now we're going to um, freestyle. Yeah, the, um, this uh, quarterfinal is classic Dutch. In the semifinal, it's uh, a freestyle Dutch. There, there's, um, of course, as in the word freestyle, it's more free. You can uh, do flips and turns and um, yeah, 360 and uh, other flips and turns. Uh, you can um, jump whatever you like. In the classic, you need to remain to one style. The star or X formation, or holding still as a plank in the air. But uh, in a freestyle, you can do whatever you want. You can do flips and turns and. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's exciting. There, there, it's no limits. It's no limit in the freestyle. And uh, th these guys, they're they're just crazy. And I know uh, many of them are uh, earlier divers and stuff. So I know they have some flips and turns. Um, I had. It's incredible. I mean, you have got to be athletic. You've got to be in control. And you know, 10 meters is so freaking high that you actually see how much time they have before they hit the water. So there's plenty of action that can happen before they actually make that huge splash. And it's like you said, the splash needs to be big. That's what this death diving is all about. It's be impressive, be confident, have your own the air, take your time, do what you got to do, make a big splash. Judge has got to love you. The crowd's got to love you. It's. I would say there's no rules, but there are some rules. That's how it works. Yeah, in classic Dutch, you have the only rules in um, that diving is only in the classic Dutch. Okay, how about we get some highlights from last year? Let's have a look at uh, last what year's, happened last year. Yeah, last That's year's from the bottom. Yeah, yeah.
Okay, that was from last year. I mean, it is an epic competition. These guys are brave and crazy and insane and beautiful in a way. I mean, it's just fantastic to see it in slow motion. The whole thing about this competition and this, uh, this sport is uh, it's made out of pure fun. It's, uh, it started as pure fun. It's um, just a show of the girls. And that is what this sport is about, is to show off, show that you have control, showing that you're the boss of the air, that you, that you can pull off some insane tricks. It's um, showing that you're a man, kind of. Yeah, I was just about to say, it kind of got to say, look at me, I got balls, I can jump from 10 meters, and I can splash. And I love it, and it's awesome. But speaking about that, I mean, in the little showreel there, there was a lady last year. And I mean, yeah, you've got to have balls, you've got to have, you've got to be brave to do this. But I mean, there's nothing saying that girls can't participate. Last, last year, there was a lady involved. Last year, we had uh, one girl competing. She was jumping from uh, seven and a half, not to 10 meters, but uh, she was the only girl. Hopefully, we get more girls um, to this competition uh, for the next years. We had, um, in the interview with Matthias, we had this uh, father with, uh, his uh, girl, yeah. uh, she wanted to jump, so hopefully we see maybe her in a few years. You know, it's just incredible to see how this sport has evolved and developed over yeah. the years. It is becoming bigger and bigger. It is becoming more international. It started here in Norway at Frung, the Balde. And, and now, I mean, it's, it's going international. It's big. Yeah, it started as an uh, amateur sport. Uh, the first World Championships was in 2008, starting with... Um, uh, 30 con contestants or something yeah. and uh, 30 in the audience maybe 8 jumpers and 30 in the audience and then in 2012 we have 15 uh, no uh, 1500 on the, in the audience exactly. and, uh, I mean, the crowds are fantastic here this is action just in the qualification you had uh, 100 so, <laughs> yeah, exactly so that was yesterday and it's, it's just incre increasing and increasing and this uh it should, it's a sport for everyone. You can see the guys in the at the tower. They're different sizes, ages, uh, heights, everything. It doesn't matter how you look or how old you are. It's guys from 14 of age to like 50, 60 of age. Yeah, that was incredible. I mean, like Mokun, he's 57. He's been doing this since the 70s. He said, I mean... Who knows? It could become an Olympic sport. That's how much, and it's fun to watch. I am just loving this. And it is impressing me, and I am a lady. So it's working. That's good. <laughs> That's how it should be. It's, uh... I am excited to see the semifinals. I mean, now that it's uh, freestyle, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, we have Matthias ready to do an interview with the leader. Yeah, from the, the yeah, and the guy who won last year. Over to you, Matthias and Truls Torp. Thank you, Nina. That's right. I'm here with uh, Truls Torp in the backstage area, and uh, that was really impressive, being the world champion, and now you're in the lead again. Ah, uh, yeah, just as planned. This was your plan all along. That was the plan. I tried to catch the audience with eye contact, and that went well. That went very well. That's awesome. So, how do you think? What do you think about the competition this year? Ah, oh, brilliant! So many people out here, and I'm with the boys, having a great time. Cool. What about your uh, your crew? You're, you're a lot of Dutchers from uh, Carlson's uh, Fredrikstad. Yeah, I asked them, and uh, we made a plan, and everybody went in, and yeah, just doing our thing. That's cool. So uh, you've been the world champion now. How was your last year being the world best in this sport? How has it been for you? <laughs> it's been awesome. I've been uh, trying to uh, make it, made a lot of videos on YouTube and try to get, uh, try to get famous, you know. <laughs> That's right. You guys can follow uh, Trillstorp on uh, YouTube. He puts out some Dutch videos. And you've been pretty much uh, Dutching all over Norway, haven't you, in different competitions? Yeah, you're right. Dutch all over Norway and... I, I just had a great time with my boys, just doing our thing. Cool. Any uh, special uh, tricks you're going to show us now in the semifinals? I'm not saying nothing. All right, all right. There you go. Won't re won't reveal any secrets. Over to you guys. 
It's all top secret. It's all top secret until the action happens here on Fatstone TV. Tune in. It is live. It's on Facebook. It's where the action's happening, and the semi-finals will be starting soon. Yeah, we uh, we are live on uh, Vega TV. We are live on uh, Dog Velda. and we're live on Fatstone TV. Uh, I know that for sure that uh, Trills got some uh, Trills. He got some epic um, tricks uh, up his sleeve. It's, um... He was all about the eye contact. He was talking about making eye contact. And maybe that works. I mean, it looks cool in slow motion when they're just checking out the crowds or they're eyeing out the judges. It's a fantastic thing to see in slow motion. I mean, these guys really are hardcore. Yeah, and the thing is about this sport is also a sport to impress. And that's how it started. It started as a sport where you made to impress the ladies. And now the thing is to impress the judges and impress the, the audience, you know? Yeah. And you know, what I think that is so amazing about this sport is that, like you said, it's all ages, it's all types. And I mean, before they were going to jump, these guys were eating pizza. I mean, I actually stole a piece of pizza from them. They were eating pizza before they are going to climb up all the stairs to jump from 10 meters. There is no huge, big, like, salad eating or athleticism that has to be followed. It's just fun. It's like Truls Torp said. All he does is he hangs with his boys. They're having fun. They're hanging out together. And they're jumping. They're death diving. I'm not even, I'm not even sure that that's the correct English translation. I mean, in Norwegian, it's called... Dutzing. But I mean, I can't, it's dutzing in Norwegian means death diving, or you could call it deathing. I'm not quite sure what the real English word is. I mean, if anybody out there who's listening, if you're following us on Fat Stone TV on Facebook, write a comment. What do you guys think it should be called in English? Is it deathing? Is it death diving? Is it uh, dutzing? No matter what language is it, and no matter what language it is in. Just send us a comment on Fat Stone TV on Facebook and we'll try to see what the correct English word is for it. Because it's difficult. It's something that originated here in Norway at From the Bottom for impressing the ladies. Speaking of ladies, there is a ladies judge. That was impressive to see. Yeah, of course. And I was thinking, yeah, just exactly that. It's, it's a sport that was developed to impress ladies. Maybe we should only have lady judges. Maybe. And maybe if the guys are there to impress us, maybe they could be jumping in the nude. I mean, just saying. That's uh, a, new, out there. a new direction for a sport. I don't know. <laughs> you could ask the athletes if uh, that's something they want. But um, well, I'm not gonna lie that the little denim shorts they work. They work. I like it. Like you said, that's the classic denim shorts. That's that's what it's all about. They're usually quite tight. So uh, yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So, uh, you can see um, we're uh, almost ready for the semifinals. The guards, guys are uh, lining up uh, behind the tower. Uh, we're soon ready. Um, the first one out is uh, Marcus Lee. So uh, he's starting off the show in the semifinal. In the semi-final, it's all about the freestyle. It's all about showing what you've got. It's almost like uh, you don't have, you, you can spare nothing. You have to show everything almost in uh, in the semi-final because the the level of the jumping right now, the level of the death diving, is really high. You can see how many guys that was over 40 points to, to get to top 10. You need to really show what you got. It's, uh, you can't, um, you can't, um, yeah, you can't, you can't say nothing. You have to, you have to go all, you have to go all in. Here we go. First out is Marcus Lee. You can see he's Whoa. doing, uh, what was that? That was a really good one. He's, uh, he's doing some turns, he's doing some rotations. Let's uh, see that in slow mo. I'm curious. It's, uh, looks like a good uh, death time. He's jumping, one salto, screw, sideways, holding, out in start formation and landing. That's quite a good one. Marcus Lee's uh, been uh, one of the top death divers for the last years, so... Um, 
That's a good one. You can see it. Eight and a half, eight, eight, seven and a half, and eight. Not, not, bad. not the best one. Some higher score from uh, some of the judges, but uh, yeah. And then we have uh, Ole Kvinge. Next up. one up. And it's uh, pink shorts. Pink shorts and top knot. I mean, he is looking stylish. He's ready to roll. Let's see what freestyle's got. Ooh, a backflip. He's doing uh, what we call in Norway a mobile game into a death dive. It's uh, quite a good one. Not the highest uh, level of technique since it's a freestyle, but uh, in, uh, at the same time, it's a really good one. He's, uh, it's, a, it's a good death dive. Yeah, it looks good and yeah. controlled. But it's uh, closing a little bit early. You can see the judges, seven and a half, eight, Oy, eight, eight. Oh, his nose is eight. bleeding. This yeah. is dangerous stuff. Ouch. That's uh, how it is when you hit the water in uh, 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. It's, uh, it's hard. It's like almost hitting concrete. Tord yeah. is up next. Tord Samuelsen. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, those are high speeds. Up to 50 kilometers an hour you can you can get before you hit the water. That is... Oh, ooh, ooh. He's gonna... He's trying... Uh, <laughs> a good one. He's trying the salto with uh, his legs and arms spread. But he's going too far. He's going in over rotation and he's not landing in a dutch more of a dive. So you can see there, he's landing with his arms and face first. Not death dive there. It's more of a dive, normal dive. And you can see. Yeah, I see uh, what you mean. I see what yeah. you mean. And the judges obviously have noticed that. It was fun to watch though, but that it's the diving that's also important. If he had landed, the if he had landed that trick, it would probably be really good. If he landed that trick, it's probably be really good because that's a high level of technique. You need to spread the legs and have the rotation, stop the rotation. But he didn't manage that. Arne is up next. Uh, Arne Haugland. He was one Let's to watch, see. if I remember. Yeah. He's, uh, he's trying on the same trick as Thurst Torp did when he was a world champion last year. It was uh, a sideways rotation in a plank. He's uh, holding it good. Really good technique there. Holding it still and closing late. He's probably going to get uh, good points from the ju judges there. You can see he's holding it still. Yeah, Hold I mean, that was super erect. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the same trick as uh, Truls did when it was uh, winning last year. Yes, eight, the judges nine, like it. Eight and a half, eight and a half, yeah. nine and eight and a half. You can see, uh, you can see why Truls was winning last year with that trick. Good trick. He had style. Per Christian um, Nes next. He's from uh, Kalva Jetsana, that's uh, right outside Oslo in uh, Darum. So, uh, I love he's, that he's wearing a leather belt. I mean, you go. Yeah, yeah. That's how this sport is. Wow. He's going in a sideways rotation. I think it's uh, one and a half time opening in a star formation and then closing. Quite a high technique um, trick there. Yeah, that was really... Uh, He's going twice around. You can see opening, opening in star. When he's going one and a half way around, he's opening in stars oh, and then closing. Back. And he comes in for the dirt. I mean, he yeah. does land it properly, right? Yeah. You can see the yes. judges are liking it. Nine, 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 and nine. Judges are impressed. Yeah, that's a high score. It's a high score, and it's no. Excellent dive. Vettel yeah. Birkeland next. It's a good one. So let's see what uh, Vettel can do. He's from Bergen. He's representing the west side of this country. He's doing the same trick as Truth from last year. Not the best one. He's not having that much of control, not playing still enough, but um, to see it in slow motion. He didn't good. seem so stiff. He didn't seem so well, like. But he was completely he's, relaxed. Uh, he was relaxed, but at the same time, he's uh, not uh, laying still enough in the air. And, He's uh, landing dive, maybe, yeah, dive. almost as a dive, so you can see the judges are picking Lots up that. Seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, and eight, so 
Let's see if Pogba won. Um, let's see what he's got. Here we go. He, he wants was, the crowds to cheer him on. Yeah, he's cheering up the crowd. He was really good one, a good one in the in the classic. So let's see what he can do in the freestyle. He's got loads of years experience. He's been doing this since he was five years old. He says that this is something that all his mates do. It's something that is very common from where he, where he's from. Yeah. Oi. That's a new one. He's um, having this uh, kind of rock and roll sign in the air. Not stretching so much. He has bent knees. So um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what uh, the judges um, think of that jump. But uh, he came all the way around. Yeah. I mean, you can see But it's, that a, good, it's a good one. He has good control. He has good control. Excellent control. Yeah, then we hear from uh, Matthias, uh, one comment uh, from one of the contestants. Yeah, cool. uh, how was that? That's great, that's great. I think I, I just did well. I don't know the points, so I feel great. All right, your second. Thank you. That's nice, that's nice. Awesome style, new one for us to check out that one. Uh, th thank you, it's our style of our island. So, And thank all the people here are uh, pushing uh, us to, to make better tricks, so... Great. Thank you, mister. Good luck. You see the judges gave him uh, good scores. Eight and a half, eight and a half, nine, eight and a half, and eight, so eight and a half, so... That was a good jump from one there. Let's see if uh, Petr Andres... Petr also a bit of a victory to the game. Yeah, second place, done. third place. So um, he can jump very, very well. It's a good one. Is it the best one? I don't think so. You can see he didn't have that much control in the air, but he's uh, almost laying on his back there for quite a long time. So. That's quite hard, but at the same time, is it the higher level of technique you need to see in a freestyle? I'm not sure. That was impressive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Going backwards like that, but the judges, like you say, I mean, that's not that impressive for the judges. Not no. a bad score. It's not a bad score, but it's not the highest one. It's uh, because uh, now it's freestyle, you need to step up your game. Okay. You, can, you, can, you can't do the same thing as you do... Um, doing the classic one. Oslak up next. Also doing the same trick. Same trick as Trills. Trills last year set the standard with this special trick where he's like sideways rotation in the air, laying still. People are you can see there. Yeah. And he, he has quite, quite good control for a long time, but then he's losing it a little bit. So I'm not sure what the judges say, but... Um, He's uh, closing quite late. I mean, it's very scary to go backwards like that. I mean, what if you don't get to turn around? Yeah, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half. You can see the judges didn't like that too much. And that's, it's an okay score, but not the highest one. Vetla Kili up next. One of the guys that pull off one of the best tricks in the classic one. I think he has some more freestyle in him. He's got some fans. Woo! He's uh, doing what we call an aria, mobile a backwards uh, salto, grabbing his legs in the um, in a turn there and uh, landing good. You can see there, going backwards, holding the grab for a long time. Fantastic flex! Whoa! And he closes up nicely, like a little shrimp. Real good close. You can see. Um, I think he gets a uh, good pay from the ju judges there. I'm impressed. Yeah. Eight and a half. Ah, okay. Okay, eight and a half, eight, eight, eight and a half, and seven and a half. Not the highest score. Let's hope it's enough. I thought it would get uh, higher, but um, let's see if uh, Bendik Alm, what he can do. Crowds are big here. At Starting with this music, we will rock you. So let's see if we can rock the crowd. Whoa! He's doing a um, front salto with the screw and then in a backwards salto there, I think. How did you even see that? Front, screw, and then backwards. See the front, screw, and then 
into the... Yeah. Not bad. That's quite a high technique. He's screwing in there like a diver and then closing it nicely like a shrimp. So, um, yeah. Yeah. you can see nine, eight and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half. The judges not, not uh, totally agreeing, hmm? but, um, you know. Cabello. Chef stop. He's on his own. He did a really, really good uh, classic that's in the quarterfinal with his spreading his leg nicely and length still in there. Let's see if he can do some freestyle here. Yeah, I think it's fun to watch. Fun to watch. He's a big man. Let's see if he can do some uh, rotations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? Dab. <laughs> He's doing a dab in there. Holding before his eyes. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. Maybe not the highest technique, but the level of danger when he's doing the dab in front of his eyes. Really pushing it, pushing it to the last second so he can't see. Oi, 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 brave. And, it, and you can see he has some good control in the air, like in the quarterfinal. Holding it nicely for a long time. Good timing. Probably some good points from the judges there. That was a fun dive. I enjoyed that yeah. one. Oh, okay. Not the highest price of OK point. Yeah. Fredrik Stevie. Fredrik Stevie. He's from the from Dutch. He's a lifeguard here from the bottom. Oh, the crowds love him. Crowds so, love him. Um, I know he has some good freestyle uh, tricks up his sleeve. Let's see what he can do. Oh! Doing the same trick as Tunstrup last year. And that's a really, really good one. You can see he has good control in the air. Let's see. Going up nicely, like a big straight. Nice control, holding it for a long time. You can see that in a, they ha he has really good control. Yeah, he's fearless. He, he's not moving at all. The judges will look at that. He's probably getting good. Ah! Oh. You know, maybe they've seen it enough. I think the judges have seen it enough. Uh, I thought that was a better death time than many of the others that did the same trick. But in all, it's the judges that is deciding the points. Sindra is up next. Sindra Holte. He's uh, not afraid of anything. He can pull off some insane tricks. Music's getting a hard, hard call. That's a good one from Sindra. He's a really good one. He's suddenly rotating into a store and then closing late. I thought that personally was a really good one. Let's check that out in slow mo. Look at that. That's twisting. It's opening up. It's Two rotations. Unfold. Yeah. You can see uh, he has good control all the way, closing late. Hopefully, he gets uh, good points from the judges. You can see. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Nine, eight and a half, eight and a half, nine, eight, eight and a half. Fantastic. He's in first place right now. Let's see what Fredrik Amundsen, one of the veterans, he's been in it a couple of years now. Yeah, he has been world champion, he has second place and has a fifth place. He knows how to death dive and hopefully he can pull off some good freestyle tricks Let's in this semi-final. See what the veterans have against the youngsters. Oh, what was that? It's, uh, Probably a trick gone wrong. It's, um, he's Did he land on his back? Yeah. Ooh. You can see he's trying to lay on his back as Oi. long as possible and open, but he's landing with his arms and head first. I mean, this is called deathing or death diving. Has anybody died? Don't answer that. No, nobody's died. Oh. He's bleeding. He's bleeding, but that's part mean? of the sport. It's, uh, you can see <laughs> he's not hardcore landing uh, as the judges want him to land, but at the same time, it's either way a good jump because he's fearless and the way he jumps is really good. You can see a bit of blood. That's probably from Ooh. his knee hitting his chin. Okay. And then we have the world champion, 
for many, many years. Philip Hillis Devor. He's trying to take back the title this year. He's a um, he's a diver, one of Europe's best, and um, he knows how to do flips and turns in the air and have control. What? That's a good one from Philip. That's a really, really good one. The crowd is loving it. The crowds are loving it because it's a really good freestyle. You can see here on Philip, he's going backwards, rotation, and then a new salto into that. It's uh, it's beautiful. That's can, what it is. It's you, beautiful. It's beautiful, and you can see how he has so much control in the air, and how you can see. He's a diver, and you can see it in how he's rotating in the air. You can see there, 9, 8, 8 and a half, 8, 8. Not the best scores. I thought it would get more because he's doing a more difficult trick, but uh, they were probably not happy enough with the, the way he pulled up. Well, let's see what Seaman Simba has up his sleeve. Everything seems to be quite top secret. No one's talking about what they're jumping. We've got to see it live as it happens here on Fat Stone TV. Oh, 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 He's oh. doing a handstand before he's jumping over in a plank. Well, was that just the warm-up then? There you can see he has some really good body control. He's not running that far. He's starting, um, starting closer to the edge than many oh. others. Twist, twist. Oi. He's trying on a rotation there. I'm not sure of, uh, what he was trying to do, but um, he seems happy. Well, he gave us a bit of show before the jump. It was a good twist. He gets uh, like a sideway, sideway rotation, 360 in a star. It's quite a good trick. Yes, uh, quite good control in the air. Let's see what the judges say. Yeah. Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight, eight, and nine. Quite good scores. Yeah, pull off a really hard trick there. Run. Now it's the 14 year old. Here he is. He is one on the of crowd. the youngest guys. He had to have permission from his mom and dad to compete in this uh, World Championships. Let's see what he can do. Whoa. That's a good one. It's uh, the level of uh, the technique that uh, Philip Eulis is using. He's also a diver, so that's not that odd. He has... Looks like he landed on his head. He's rotating, twisting, salto, twisting again, and then into that. The landing, not the best one, but okay, of course. Eight, eight, eight and a half, eight and eight. Let's see if that's enough to get to the final. But that's either way for a 14 year old, that's really good. It's pretty fantastic. To be a 14 year old, that's really good. He's probably gonna be in this game for many, many years. So he has a lot of years to develop. Håkon Hayden up next. He is, he had a third place last year. He knows how to jump and death dive. He got an impressive score from the judges in the, in the yep. quarterfinal. Let's yep. see what he's got up his sleeve. Let's see in the freestyle. He is also doing a double sideways rotation. He's happy. Let's see if the judges are happy. But he landed a little flat. Yeah. Did, he, did he actually bring it in? It sounded painful. It sounds like his back is going to be red. It's not as straight, straight as the others, but he is uh, has good control in the air. And... Uh, uh, not the best landing there. Good splash, but not the best landing. Oh. You got a nine? Two nines. Oh, the judges like it. The judges like it. The crowd likes it. And, and that, he's happy. And that's the most important thing. It, does, it doesn't need to be the best technique. It doesn't need to be the highest level of jump. It also has to be the one that's making the crowd happy, the judges happy. Put a smile on their faces. Then you also get a good score. Oi, 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 look who's up next. 
It's the leader, it's Turkstorp. Last year's world champion, he's showing off. <laughs> doing the running man. Playing up to the crowd, that's what it's about. Confidence. Let's see what the third has for this year's semi-final freestyle. Impress us. Woo! <laughs> that's how you do a clean death dive. You can see how he has so much control in the air. Holding his hips, you can see here going out. In star, holding his hips. And he's so straight. And so much attitude. Look at that attitude. Damn. You can see he's owning the air. He's the boss up there. He's so tight. And then the closing, perfect closing. He's probably going to get good scores from the judges there. If not, yeah. Eight and a half, eight and a half, nine, eight and a half, and eight and a half. Second place. Second place into the final. That's what's important. The final still coming up here, yeah. guys. And he said he had some insane tricks from for uh, the final if he went there. So let's see what uh, Tulus can uh, pull off. But that was a really good one. That was a really good one from Tulus. And that's right here. Yeah, this is the semi-finals we're watching. We're going over into the finals. It's all streaming live from Frognebada, Oslo, in Norway. And we take you over to Matthias. Thank you, thank you. I'm here with uh, Frederick Amundsen, and uh, yeah, that didn't go as planned, did it? Well, it did. It did, because you yeah, went... Well, it looked fucking phenomenal, and it just felt fantastic coming up from the water. And you started bleeding. Well, that's kind of the bonus. But you uh, actually <laughs> won last year's competition, uh, or the Madman's Prize, for the same trick you tried to do right now, didn't it, wasn't it? Yes. But it's um, because uh, I don't see the wall turn before I actually hit it. So basically I'm just holding it, waiting for it, and then... Okay. Shit. But it wasn't as perfect as it should have been. How does it feel though, watching it again? It just seems that uh, on, on, on screen you're not flying as long as you're flying when you actually do it. Well, still I'm glad you didn't hurt yourself too bad. I see you stopped bleeding now and is back in business. Yeah, I'm going to get a plaster from the doctor and then I'm back up there. And you can still win the Madman's Prize, right? There, hope, are, there hope. are the nutcases here that might just take that prize away. All right, right. Good luck to you. you. All right, now we're going to talk to the guy who's in the lead here, Mr. Okun How's it? Uh, how was that? That was amazing, bro. That was sick. Uh, didn't figure out I would come around the last time. I just turned my head and, like, the world was here, so... Just had to hook it. Yeah, uh, you've been uh, really in shape. This uh, you had two fantastic jumps so far. Have you been practicing a lot this summer? No, in depth diving, there's it's not allowed to train. You can't work out. You just come here, compete every year, have fun with friends, and yeah. So what do you call your trick? I don't know. If you like snowboard language, you'll say a flat spin 720, maybe. So some of the tricks are transferable from snowboarding to deathing. Yeah, sort of, more or less. What's your plan to uh, stay on the throne when the final is finished? I haven't decided yet. We'll see. You just decide when you're on the top. Yeah, uh, last year I decided on the seven meters, so maybe I'll start at the five now, so I can get some more yeah. thoughts. Oh, wow, these guys are so cool. It's, it's crazy. Good luck to you, bro. Thank you, thank you. All right, over to you, Nina. Okay, impressive. These guys are crazy. But here it is, the results of the semi-final on screen now. We've got Hawken Hayden in the lead with 88,5 with the highest score. Then Truls Torp, who was of course the world champion from last year. Not bad results. Okay, and next up we've got the second half of the results. Cabello coming in at 81,5. Vetla Kili, 81,5.
Petter Andersen, 81,5 in 11th. Then we've got Fredrik coming in at 80,5, just 0.5 above Marcus Lee. Ole Kvinge with 79,5, as well as Aslak at 79,5. Vetle Birkelon at 79. And Fredrik Amundsen, 71,5, with Tor Sommelsen at 69. Those are the results of the semi-final, which just took place here at Frognebade, Oslo, Norway, live on Fatstone TV. Now, that means that the final is just around the corner. Here are some of the pictures and uh, the shots that took place just a few minutes ago, the semi-finals. Here you can see the boys throwing themselves out there, full of attitude, style, confidence, impressive stuff. Loads of uh, fans have come out to support here this afternoon. It is a fantastic sport to watch. It's full of daring, I would say youngsters, but they're not all yet. Some of them certainly are. I mean, the oldest uh, participant today is 57 years old. He was in the quarterfinal earlier. Didn't make it to the semis, though. There you see some. This is the freestyle happening here. There you have a bit of a dub. You've got the work in the crowds. This is what it's about. Ditting, or should you call it death diving, or deathing. It's an incredible sport, and it's great to watch, and the finals are still coming up. So that's some of the highlights that just took place. Semi-finals, streaming live on Fatstone TV on Facebook. Be sure to follow us and write some comments if you have to. Yes, we have some more pictures here from the semi-final. Uh, the Death Divers are having a small break before they're heading to the final where the top 10 is going to compete. This is, um, you can see up the pictures you have seen from the semi-final. It's all about pure fun. Look at that, that's Trulls. That was his semi-final jump. Yeah, it's a really, really good one. Here we go, we're getting in the lineup now of the jumping list for the final. Here it is, the starting list for the finals. First up First, Bendik Alm from Lernskog uh, Death Circuit. And then we have the 14-year-old Ram Shades of Norway. And the second, starting second, Arne Haugland at uh, Bjørnefjorn. Starting third, Philip Julius Devor, Team Frigar, starting the fourth in the final. Hopefully he will pull off a better trick in the final. And we have the international one, Juan. He's starting fifth, Simon Simba. Then we have Pe Christian Andnes. Then uh, top three going, the last ones is Sindra Oreholte from Lernskog, Death Circuit. Then we have the last year's champion, Truls Torp, going almost last. And then we have last, Håkon Høie, Lutvan Dutz going in last and um, he has all the pressure he's uh, jumping after Trills and um, Trills said that if he went to the final he had a huge trick up his sleeve so I'm uh, curious about that and um, maybe he's gonna put a lot of pressure on Håkon well that's exciting I mean as you can see Håkon has got the highest results and therefore he's jumping last, which obviously puts a lot of pressure on him. But I'm also keen to see what, what Philip comes up with, because Philip has been, I mean, he wasn't, he didn't jump last year. So he's coming back for the title, right? And he's, uh, he's got to pull something out of somewhere. Uh, the crowds love him for sure. He's got all kinds of flips and spins and things going on. Uh, but he's got to do something to impress those judges. And I mean, the, those are... You never know, though. You never know what can happen. Suddenly, somebody can come up with something that just the judges love. But the important thing to know now is that you, watching, can actually vote with SMS. Now, this is where you guys have 30 seconds. After the jumper has jumped, you have 30 seconds to send an SMS to 2460. And then you write code word V and the number of points you would like to allocate to that diver. So that's the most important part here, is now you as a watcher, as the publicum, 
you guys who are actually watching what's going on, you guys can vote. But you have 30 seconds after each jump to write the points that you think should be allocated to that jump by sending an SMS to 2460. And then the code word is a B, and then you write the points. Okay, guys, well, we don't have much longer to wait. So we've got Matthias at the top of the tower. Over to you, Matthias. It's a great view from up there. Thanks, you know, yeah, the view is not only great, it's scary as well. And uh, now we have the first jumper of the final here is ready. Mr. Bandicong, is yes. that right? Yes, yes. You managed to just barely sneak yourself into the final. How did it feel? Uh, I didn't think I made it, so I was really happy to make it. It's my first time in the final, so really happy for that. Cool, cool. Have you been practicing all summer? or? Uh, I've just competed in two earlier competitions, but nothing other than that. All right, how did that go? Uh, yeah, it's okay. One fifth place and the other one I don't remember, but... <laughs> So now you're, now you're in the finals, but you're actually the guy who's ranked lowest. Is that an advantage? Or? Uh, I don't think so, but I'm just going to send it. <laughs> you're going to send it. What, what are you going to send? Uh, I'm going to improve my first jump, my, my second jump. Okay, okay, cool there, Bendik. Good luck on, to you there. Thanks, okay, Bendik is ready. One to ten. Over to you, Nina. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bendik up first in the final, and you saw it on the screen, remember, as I said, it's now also your chance to give your point allocation. And that means that you can give points from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, send your SMS within 30 seconds after your favorite jumper. SMS to 2460, and then you write V and you write the amount of points that you want to get. One being really bad and ten being excellent. Bendik is up first. Bendik Elm. First man in the final. Let's see what he can do. His first ever final. Oh! He's doing a front flip with a screw and then backwards into a death dive. He's, uh, I think he did the uh, same trick in the semi-final, it's a really good one. Remember, 10 seconds left of uh, boating in SMS, you can see, it's a good one. I think it's a better run in semi-final. He's, um, he's making that trick perfect. It's, uh, he's going it all out there, he's putting it all on the line. Because yeah. this is it, this is the final, this is your last jump, this is what you got to give it everything. And if you love that jump, then you can vote yourself. The 30 yeah. seconds is up. As you can see, it counts down on the screen. So make sure that you send your SMS before those 30 seconds have counted down. Didn't get a higher score. He had um, eight. He had an eight from every judges. So uh, not the highest one, but let's see what he gets from the SMS. And this is the youngest guy, the 14-year-old, doing a back play from the top of the tower. Ram is ready for the final. Only 14. Let's see what he can do. And as you can see, Ram is number 53. So it says 53 on his chest. So if you want to vote for him, you got to write a V. And then 53 is his number. And then you write how many points you want to give him. You can see here, it's quite a good jump in the beginning, but he's a little bit failing in the end there, not landing as he should. And um, the judges is going to pull off some points there. But uh, I will give him up. Actually, the, uh, the crowd is giving him a huge applause. He is only 14. Mat Over to you, Matthias. Yeah, yeah, Ram, how's it Very good. So, ont ut, så då eller? Lite men inte så. Det går bra. Kan du prova? Huh? What did you try doing? I was trying to do a like mobo with double twist. Yeah. All right, but you're in on second place so far. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. See you. The audience gave seven and a half points and the judges gave around six and five so the, uh, the audience uh, really liked the um, technique in a trick but uh, the judges uh, pulled up some points because of the landing oh, Let's I, just, see. I just wanted to give him a hug yeah. Yeah. and then you have Arne Haglund 
He's number he, two. Yeah, he did a real good po uh, jump in the semifinal. Let's see what he can do. Whoa! That's a good one. That's a real good one. A backwards flip, holding his arms behind his head, straight in the air, good control, and landing good. He's far out in the pool, good splash. That's a good one. He's got like these kind of crazy eyes. Yeah. I mean, when you see him jump, he's so focused that he's got those crazy eyes and it is impressive. I'm hoping he gets a high score here because I thought that was, that was cool to watch. Uh, that was clear. You can see the judges like it. Nine, eight, eight, eight and a half, eight. And the audience gave him ten. The audience really liked that jump. And I totally agree. That was a good one. He showed us some good technique, good control in there. Absolutely. So again, I will emphasize that you as the audience can have your say by sending an SMS to 2460 with the code word B. And Philip Ulysses' number is number 79. And then you write how many points you want to give him. So be sure to send in your SMS 30 seconds once he's jumped. Let's see if this professional diver, many times world champion, could pull up some good freestyle in this final. He has won many times. Let's see if we can do it. Whoa! He's going for more classic dirts. Sideways rotation. Showing off good control in the air. Thought that was a good one. He was spinning. He had so much going on there. He had like three elements before he even hit the water. One, two, three. Sideboard rotation in the cannonball and out again. So it's a high level of death diving. That's a hard one to go in and out. Yeah. Be ha we have Matthias with uh, Philip. Uh, Philip, you're in the lead. I'm in the lead. Oh. What do you think about that? Oh, that's a great, good day. Yeah. That was unexpected. And it, yeah, that's a good thing. All right, pretty humble here now, the one who's in the lead. Do you well, think I'm it's going to... You're pretty humble. Do you think it's going to hold? I hope so. I hope so. That's a good score, and I hope for the best. You, you got a lot of fans in the audience as well. I hear that. All right, give, out a, sh give a shout out to Philip. Thank you. Bye-bye. You can see the judges like that jump. He had a sideways rotation, holding it, going into a cannonball, out again before he was closing. No wonder why the judges gave him a huge score. Here we go for Juan. He's what? next. He is number 70. So if you want to vote to him, the send SMS with the number 70 and the amount of points from 1 to 10. And let's see what he can do. He's also got fantastic technique. I mean, yeah. he is great to watch. Wow. He's holding that. He's going sideways rotation, holding the grab for a long, long time. I, I, I think he's, uh, I thought he hold it uh, the whole time. Yeah. Even, even when he landed. That's a really good one. Are you Showing good control. You can see there, holding the grab, holding it, holding it, and then straight before the water. Yeah, that's a good one. High, high scores there, I think. Good landing, huge, huge splash. splash. Yeah, huge splash. I think he's happy. Let's see what the judges say. Hey, fans, fans, fans are loving him. We gotta wait for the scores. Let's see. Nine, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. The audience didn't like it. So. Or maybe they're just voting for Norwegians. You could, know. It could be. It could be. <laughs> Let's see. Simon Simba, Olaf, what he can do. He's number 74 if you want to work for him. He's probably going with sunglasses. <laughs> Pulling up some um, some extra there. Let's see what he can do in this final. It's all or nothing. Shades! Oh! That's a good one from Simon Simba. He's opening up, taking off his glasses in there, holding it straight out. Style! Check it, that's so cool.
That's how we call it to own the air, to be the boss of the air. Look at this, taking off his sunglasses, holding it, full control, and then going to Cannibal. The last minute. I mean, those glasses have got to be broken. You can't hit the water and not smash them. That's, uh, I thought I was a good that time. Let's see what the judges said. Eight, nine, nine, eight and a half, nine. The audience didn't like it. But in, in third place for Simon there. I thought it was awesome. But I didn't have the time to vote. I'm too busy chatting. <laughs> and there, Pierre Christian Andres. He's number 78 if you want to vote for him. He's one of the oldest guys here. He's a veteran in this sport. He knows what this sport is about. Let's see what he can do. He has some rotations in his body, so hopefully he can good, pull off a really, really good trick here. Yeah, I love his technique. He is phenomenal at spinning. That's a good one. Was that three rotations? He's opening twice, I think. That's a, that's a good one from the old guy. <laughs> the old guy. Let's see here. One, two, Let's see, one, two, and landing. Oh, he's, he's opening twice. Yeah. He's opening twice. Big open. opening. Look at that. Big. Opening again Big. and then closing. It's a hard trick to land. And let's see what the judges says. He's getting high scores from the judges. Nine, nine, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. The audience gave him six and a half, so that's disappointing from the audience, but the judges are loving it. The judges are loving it, and that's because that's a high level of technique to open two times. This is the third last man, Sindra Orejota. I know what he can do. If you want to work for him, send 77 is his number of SMS. He's a really good death diver. Hopefully he will pull off some awesome tricks. This is all or nothing for Sindra. He's doing a double rotation sideways, opening up in the last second and then closing. That was a good one. 15 seconds left to walk. You can see here on Sindra. That's a hard one. He's holding his arms into his body, and that's hard to stop the rotation when you do that. But he has good control and landing nicely. Hopefully, the judge will see that. That's incredible to see that control. Yeah. I mean, I haven't tried this, but I mean, I hear, I hear you said you've jumped plenty to you, hold it in and to come out again and yeah. to hold that spinning and the control and to stop it in mid-air. You can see it's the judges are happy. Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half nine, nine. But the audience, they gave four. So we have a 47 and a half in total. The people need to vote for the best man. True Star sent SMS with to 24, 60 with B and 83 if you want to vote for True. Let's see what he can pull off. He said he will pull off some insane trick. The world champion from last year. Look at this jump. <laughs> it's such good control. Look at this. Look at this. Off front flip, holding it, holding it, and then closing late. That's the perfect close. He's so fine with the body. It's this man, this man. Look at his face. It is emotionless. It People is so remember cool. to vote for this. This is really, really good. He is happy with that. Yeah, we have Matias with uh, Thurs on the pool side. What's <laughs> it, huh? Yeah, yeah, Thurs. That was pretty awesome. You proved why you're the world champion. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck thanks again. That was a burst. Awesome. Bro, you have to wait for the score. Uh, I don't know yet, but I'll find out in a minute or so. <laughs> yeah! 
Number one, and the pressure is on the top. That's what it's about. Look at the boys. They're having so much fun. Oh, yeah. absolutely crazy. This is what a sport is about. Oh. It's, uh, it's just such great jump from third star. He's showing why he's the world champion for last year. But let's see what, what the leader can do. The whole from here. Let's see what he's got to show. Last man out in this final. The world championships finals for death diving at Frognabad also. This is the last man out. We've got Tools Top in first place so far. If you want to work for him, send to 24-60-V and How many his points? number. Oi, oi, oi. He's doing an okay job. I would have expected more from Hawthorne in the final since in the season is in the lead, but um yeah, let's see what let's see what the judges says. It's clean, it's a good jump. You can okay. see good I'm control, I mean, sideways rotation holding it a long, long time. But is it good enough to beat Turtles Torp? I think personally. Matthias is ready with uh, Hawkon on the pool side. Let's hear from him. Hey Hawkon. Hey Mr. Hawkon, how was that? Uh, do you think you have the chance to take Trills out now? I don't think so. We'll see. Never done it before, so... Was a new trick fan. from you there? Yeah. All right, no. let's check out on big screen now if we get the scores up here. Yeah. Oh, sixth place. Well done anyway, bro. Well done. We have a world champion. Last year he won for the first time. The first time he competed. Trill Storm is taking the title back again. With an insane jump in the final. Fantastic. It was awesome action. We thank you for watching Fat Stone TV. Norway's action sports channel. I am Nina K. And we have been really happy to take you through this World Championship. You can see how happy Cruz is. He deserves it. That was an incredible jump and yeah. it has been fantastic to watch it on this side. Matthias is in the water. No, Matthias is not in the water. Cruz is in the water and Matthias is ready to talk to the champion. Cruz, that was really amazing. Trills is on fire over here. It's hard to get him to stand still. Congratulations. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was amazing. <laughs> that was the best thing I ever lived. Is that the secret you've been talking about all day? Huh? You, you said you had something secret for us, and then you yeah. came out with these spectacular duds in the end? <laughs> that was the secret. <laughs> so I guess next year everyone's going for that one. Probably. Congratulations. That was amazing, bro. Thank you, bro. I think Trills needs to chill a little now. <laughs> Let's see at the jump of Turles. Look at that body control. He's going out in a front flip, holding it, looking at the judges, full control, closing it late. He's just almost perfect. You can see up the scores, nine and a half from almost every judges. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that joy. That's a jump of a world champion. Easy as that. No, Truls is the best today. He's showing off the best trick. Easy. World champion of death diving for the second year running. He took it home last year, 2016, and he's done it again this year, 2017. Here are the results. The final, Truls Torp, the winner, first place with 56 score. And we had Philip just coming in short with... 54,5 in second place. He was trying to get the first place, but Strolls just topped him on that one. Pierre Christensen coming in in third with 52,5. Arno Hoaglum with 52 in fourth place. Simon Simba Olam at fifth place at 49,5. Johan 48,5 in sixth place. Bendik Alm 
and Håkon Høyem at 7th place, both with 48. And Sindre Åreholte, 47.5 at 9th place. And Ram, the youngest one, at 10th place with 35 points. Fantastic. It's, uh, it's just really, really high level. It's... Uh, it's getting better, better every year. It's... Uh, there you can see... Uh, they started um... starting the prize giving. That's what they're doing. Yeah, of course there are prizes. Of course, so what you want to do is have the title. That's what this is all about: is being the man who has won the world championships in death diving. Is Truls Torp once again? Fantastic action here today at yeah. Long Nevada. It has been so much fun watching everything. It has been fun commentating. It has been live on Fatstone TV. So you can see Per Christian on the nest at third place. And then we have Philip Julius Devor at second place. And now the world champion. 2017. Yeah, he's done it before. He is all about showing up. He's all about confidence. And, and the winner, the winner. winner is Tur Thor. He is the best one today by far. And uh, fantastic. It, it's a fantastic jump. But it's also good to see Philip Julius Devor back on the podium. Yep, second place. And also the older guy, Pek, is on the net. He made it to the podium. It's been awesome. Thank you for the action and thank you for watching Fatstone TV, Norway's action sports channel. It has been a fun-filled afternoon and I hope that you have uh, seen every single bit of the action with us on Fatstone TV. Look at those happy faces. I am. Um, I still think it's pretty amazing that these guys have the balls to jump the way that they do. I I don't think I've ever jumped from a 10 meter. I mean, you've done it. You've been there. I'm jumping from the 10 meter, and it's not that high. The guys are maybe in the air for one and a half seconds. So um, you can see the guys here that are <laughs> beaten up. They have got a bandage all on their chin, and it's um. It's not an easy sport. It's hard. It's uh, bruises and blood, and um, yeah, it's uh, when they're landing, it's almost like hitting uh, concrete. So, yeah, um, I mean the speeds that they get up to, like you said, 50 kilometers per hour. Well, guys, like I said, thank you for the action. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Grinda. It has been awesome from Fatstone TV, Norway's action sports channel. Thank you for myself, Nina Cave. And thank you for me, Grunde. We look forward to next year. Congratulations to your crazy, insane ditzers out there. See you then. Best ever final. 14-year-old. Oh. And as you can see, Ram is number 50.